And there you go. Cool little mushrooms. So wet. So just looking for like any kind of cool growth mushrooms. I don't really care what kind of mushroom I find. Just for this video, it, you know, it'd be awesome if we found like a, I think it's a morales or chanterelles. One of those is uh, this time of year. As Soon as we find one, we'll pluck it. I'll take it back to the shop and we'll carve it. <laughs> I just gotta find one. Who would have thought it would be this hard to find one? But I guess that's mushroom hunting. It's so awesome here. I mean, look at how like pretty it is to be honest. This is the British Columbia rainforest, man. I, uh, I got my awesome Rapala fishing gear on, so I got my pants covered so I'm not wet all day. And uh, my trusty Echo rain jacket. So hopefully we can find something here. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I just figured we could find a mushroom. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought that was one. Oh, that would have been one. But I think it's gone now. Maybe that was a lobster. Ah, oh, I think that, oh, what's that? No, it's cool though. So maybe we're on the right spot. We're in the, we're getting in a zone here maybe. Come on. Okay, we got something. A little toadstool. Got him. Cool. That's cool. How am I gonna get these? I should try these ones first. There. Cool. There we go. So we got a cool find. Let's head back to the shop and uh, see what I can come up with. I mean, I think these are toadstools, but I don't know. And uh, this one I'm not sure of. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think maybe we can carve a couple of them together. I'll see what kind of wood I got. And uh, yeah, let's go get dried off and get this started. This is kind of cool. Love it. You gotta love it. So this is carving, man. You know, finding what you can carve and replicating it. And I think that's like a really cool thing for anybody to try. You know, Simon O'Rourke, he once told me when I was staying with him, he threw a towel on a log and said, carve it. And that was like really cool because you, you kind of start to look at things more than what they are like you look at them as shapes and and you look for different ways to make things and that was something that really stuck with me so i thought for this you know this is a, a mushroom and this is great carving for beginners this is one of the first carvings that i did they're fast they're fun and uh and they sell so let's get into it here's some right here really cool so I think I got a cool one. I don't know what kind of mushroom it is. It kind of looks like a magic mushroom, to be honest, but it's, uh, it's cool. This will be a fun carb. And uh, one super cool thing I always think about is offcuts. I save a lot of my offcuts, as you guys see in this pile. These are just all random pieces of wood. And now it's like, okay, what do you see that would work? <laughs> and this is like perfect. So, you know, it's got a cool little motion, little cap maybe do two and then give it like a flow so that's it this is the one put it in my jaw horse jaw horses are awesome and uh i use it every day it's a good it, they're great <laughs> here we go okay so i'm gonna grab my mushroom here oh barely hanging on okay so if I remember it, they were like this. 
So I will go like this and then maybe like, you want to have it in the middle, you know, and you need your carving to be strong enough. So this will be the base. And maybe we'll do like a little one here. Or maybe, you know what, we'll do it over here and we'll make him leaning over. Like he's almost toppled over. So you can have fun with these by the fact you can make them leaning, you know, like this could be just like a little bit more of a toadstooly kind of thing. And then here, this one's connected and then maybe we'll make like a little button out here popping out or something, you know? Probably not, because I think this will be just a strong enough piece. It's got good flow. And even maybe here, I'm gonna give it a little more like motion. You know, there's no point in doing anything straight up. And I think that's gonna be pretty rad. So I'm gonna quickly go over the tools I'm gonna use. Power cap, Makita angle grinder, four inch uh, disc, and then a high speed Makita drill with the Sando Flex. And I'm going to use a Echo 361P with a 12 inch Canon dime tip bar on quarter pitch chain. And uh, to block, I'm going to use an Echo 501P with a 14 inch dime tip. Okay, so here we go. Let's do it. So right now I am trying to block out the mushrooms. Now, if you watch how I'm doing it, I'm doing an up cut there which I like to use both ends of the bar. If it's a carving bar, there's no kickback, so you have nothing to worry about it. Now, follow as close as you can to the lines. If you have a true design that you're confident in, if you're blocking it, you wanna follow as close to the lines as you can because that means you're gonna stay within proportion. If you're gonna whittle away and take your time and go really slow, you can run into trouble because you'll start to carve away your lines. So as you can tell, I'm just trying to use the quickest ways to, to block it out without bending the bar or twisting too much. I mean, I'm just trying to plunge through, remove the weight, and then lighten this piece up. But this one, this cut was kind of cool because I was able to get both at the same time. Which doesn't happen often. So for blocking it out, you can see I did the mushroom top first. Now I did the mushroom top first because I want, this is gonna be the wheat, the, the, it'll jump later. So round out as much as you can, and then you can go underneath because this is gonna be the weakest point of each mushroom. Now this is a good beginner's mushroom and this is a little more complicated, but when I'm doing these, I'm looking here and going, okay, this is the center. It's got to go there. And same for these ones. You always want to try to balance them. And I think that's something you always have to think about when you're carving trees, mushrooms, anything like that, that's going to help you. But these are looking cool. Let's get them rounded out now that we've almost blocked it completely out. And then we'll start sanding.
I'm gonna burn it now because the wood's a bit wet and then I'm going to sand it and do a little paint. So at this stage of the game, it's a little bit wet still, but that's fine. If you wanted to just burn this, give it that feel, maybe do a little under here, you're good, you know? You're burning there and kind of give it that like kind of feel, but you know, since we're here and we're already doing it, well, let's grab the airbrush out and uh, give it some brown and black because I think that would be pretty sweet. So my mushroom has taken a beating, <laughs> but I'll look at the way the colors are underneath. I'm going to start with like a golden brown, just work my way around it, get it going a little darker, and then I'll come in with black after. There we go. You can see it's kind of got that nice little style, give it a little ring here. Why not? That looks cool. So there's brown. Now we'll swap over. So yeah, I hope this video has helped you guys. If it has, definitely leave a comment, leave a like. Maybe we'll give this thing away. I don't know, because I don't know who to, what to do with it. Um, but you know, it's a great beginner's carving. Okay, so the black will kick in soon, and then that'll really start to kind of darken it. So I'll go darker here. kind of like showcase those lines, kind of give it that like growing in the foli foliage type feel and just different lines will accent it. And when you stain it, it kind of shows different contrasts and that to me is always important. You know, you could you just do a light brush here. I don't know what I'm doing here now. I'm just kind of freestyling. Yeah, I mean, you could just do like little touches here. A little touch there. And there you go. Cool little mushrooms. Easy to carve, great for beginners, and, and don't overcomplicate them too, right? Like if you're just beginning, just have fun with it. There we go. So from the forest floor to a carving, I hope this video has helped you guys and definitely think about it. You know, you can go outside of your shop, you can find anything. You can see birds, you can see mushrooms, you can see trees and you can carve it. So this is a good example of how to carve a mushroom, but also utilize your backyard and the beauty that nature has to offer. So my name's Ryan Cook. Thanks so much. If you guys have enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my page. I wish you all the best. Stay safe and rock on. So from the floors. <laughs>